Hey dear viewers and listeners, you must be wondering why I'm sweating this much and panting like a dog. Oh yes, not so complicated, it's a show. I told you we break down everything, be it farming, industrialization, technology, sports, everything we break it down to layman's understanding. And guess what? Today's topic is football for peace. Here to find out what football for peace is all about. And right about now, I'm here to show you what I do best. Soccer is what I do best, baby. Yeah, and like I always tell you, we bring to you the best and the best nothing but the best. Dan, how are you? I'm very fine. Glad to have you on the show. Thank you. Hey, man. We are not only geeks, but again, we're good at soccer as well. So, Daniel. Yes. Pause it there, right there. Uh -huh. yeah. Pause it right there. So, ladies and gentlemen, dear listeners and viewers, how are you? Glad to have you back on your most favorite show, Not So Complicated. And today's topic is football for peace. My main guest is Daniel Walusimbi. Daniel, how are you? I'm very fine. How Tell us you? about football for peace, briefly. Actually, in, uh, in one statement, football for peace, or an organization, this is a program that uses the power of football as a force for good. Oh, yes. For good. For good. So meaning we can use it to address so different things. Mm -hmm. You know, we can use it to tackle any challenge that is there. Oh, yeah. One of it, maybe you can say, peace. We need oh, yeah. to unite. Thank you, dear viewers and listeners. How are you? Glad to have you back. Like Alio told you, we only bring you the best of the best of the best yeah. topics. <laughs> and I'm very sure you must be wondering what football has to do with innovation. Oh, yes, we have to find out. Football for peace. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my panel once again. On my right, the Joker, Dima Mandoza Mulavi, Taina Mia Deadi. David, glad to have you on the show. Thank you. Sekawe, Joko Steven, how are you, sir? Uh, <laughs> 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 glad, <laughs> glad to have you, sir. Adan <laughs> Walusim, how are you, sir? Very fun. So complicated. Night time, I'm up here. Night time, I'm too many. Ah, Brian, how are you? Life. Oh, the referee himself. <laughs> Byron, how are you? Glad to have you on the show. As usual. Okay. Stay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, gentlemen, let's let's discuss football for peace. What is football for peace? Break it down for our viewers. They really want to know what football has to do with innovation. Right about now. One, well, you should know that football for peace. We have two ways. First, Football for Peace is an organization under the Innovation Consortium. But there is also Football for Peace as a program. So, Football for Peace, this is an organization which uses the power of football as a force for good. Finito. Precise. Yes. Thank you so much. And why Football for Peace? You all know that, that uh, football is the most popular game in Uganda and in the world over. And it's the and most. Eh? Yes, for, uh, of Kalamuja is in Uganda. Yes. Of course, football for peace is the most popular game oh, yes. in uh, Uganda but and uh, worldwide. It's the most popular game. <laughs> <laughs> it's not yet. It's not yet. It is not yet gazetted as a game, <laughs> and it cannot be in the Olympics. <laughs> so. Mm. No, you remember you guys when we were playing football. All of us, we have that passion of playing football. Mm. So we were playing football. And, uh, you know, we were just chatting with Byron and other people. Remember we had a game with the other teams. Oh, yeah. So because that is our uh, nature and our culture, we always play a game because this is our passion. Team that, yes, team building. That's part of team building, yes. Mm. Then we asked ourselves a question. We usually put our question to before us. We said, what can we do with this game? Mm. Actually, if I remember very well, 
I remember there's somebody who asked that, which is the most popular thing in Uganda? Somebody was saying that it's the magicians. Yes, and, uh, and I remember uh, somebody saying about corruption, but for me I remember answering that uh, when the national team is playing football, it is when you see all Ugandans together. And I thought it was the most, as in, popular event in Uganda. Can you believe? And, and then people... Are the ones putting on yellow, are hmm. the ones putting on red, <laughs> sitting in the same stadium, and they cheer together. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> eh? yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, so from that uh, premise, that's when we came up with that idea. How can we use football, mm -hmm. as in, uh, to, 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 to sensitize or even carry the message, whatever message that we want, out there to the people. So the and then that's how we came up with the football for peace. So thank you. And in the same regard, how do you intend to use football for peace to achieve the vision that you have? No, actually, I remember D Mama is the one who said that actually he wanted to use football for peace to make sure that he collects everybody together and put them in one uh, place. Like he has said that, you know, can, can you imagine? Just imagine that picture where you have Bobby Wine, you have Besige here, you have Museveni, you have Mao, and other people and playing on the same pitch. Exactly, and bed on there. Katumba oi. Imagine, Katumba oi. Put them on the same pitch and play. So we imagine. Then we came up with the idea of football for peace. And uh, actually that idea was conceptualized on, in 20, 2016. Oh. Remember those days of the elections. But since then we have been building up and we thought we would use it in the last uh, concluded uh, elections. And now when they came, we were very much geared up to play the real game of football. But then COVID came, came along. But like I said, we are the, you know, yes, but you know, <laughs> but you know, we are, we are the innovation consortium. We had to sit down, put our heads together and come up with something that can really would uh, carry our objective home. And uh, you can imagine something more, even more creative and more innovative and more powerful came along. Ta -da. <laughs> and that is what was that? Football for Peace Animation yeah, um, Series. Welcome to the Football for Peace Series. The atmosphere in the stadium is electric. There isn't any empty seat in the stadium. Every Ugandan young and old has come to be a part of this historic game that is going to determine the future of Uganda. This is the first team lineup for this evening in goal. It's Nobat Mao, Mubaje, and Kazimba at right and left back. Matembe partners with Montu at centre back. In midfield, it's Yorari Kagutam Seveni, Rebecca Kadaga, Kiza Vesije, Safia Naule, and Robert Chagulanyi make up a highly competitive and creative midfield. The Ugandan citizen leads the attacking line as the lone striker. The mass official for today's game is the electoral commission. Flanked by the linesman police, the fourth official is civil society and international community in charge of the VAR today. With all formalities done, the match kicks off with Uganda playing up from the back. Mao plays a beautiful ball out to Mubaji on the right. He pushes it upfield, cuts the pass to Montu. Montu finds Besige in midfield. Besige not makes his opponent. What a beautiful piece of skill from him. He then makes a forward pass to Kadaga. Kadaga plays a one-touch pass to Chagulanyi on the left wing. Oh, ho, ho, ho. beautiful footwork from him. He effortlessly beats his opponent and makes a beautiful cross-field pass to find Museveni on the right wing. Museveni with the bust of speed, gets past the closing defender and sends in a wonderful inviting cross in the six-yard box and goal! That's Citizen! Go for peace, go for unity, go for all Ugandans. What a magnificent overhead kick by the Ugandan citizen. We came up with a football for peace and mission series. However much we, would not, we could not play the real game of football, but we decided to take the game to the different uh, media platforms. That's social media and the mainstream media. So we came up with the football for peace, those are animation inspired by the game of football to carry out the message that we wanted to carry out. And uh, you guys, if you can uh, help me, we have like around, uh, we have already animated like around six um, uh, animations. Like there is that one of uh, collective responsibility. Yes, actually, I'm going, I'm going to give you a deep. Yes. Let me tell you a little. Uh, <coughs> Uh, this project uh, was geared up towards elections, but uh, uh, football as itself can be used to send way more complex messages than even just peace or whatever. Because you find even the football ambassadors are in so many categories. You find artists being football ambassadors, you find 
uh, footballers being uh, amb ambassadors for for you and so the messages we we intend to send yes. are more than the few we've done but of the few we've done we did one that was uh, because it, it was towards election it was a uh, collective responsibility as he said uh, uh, ideally the message was everyone has to play an active role or it is everyone's responsibility to make sure we all get a fair create the Uganda that we want peaceful environment or the Uganda we want so through the animation you brought it up yes there was uh, one for as I said collective responsibility now, now, now actually to, to, to go further in that the one of collective responsibility we we brought out all other major players like uh, VSJ was there, uh, the president, His Excellency, the, the, the president, Yoel Kagutam Seven was there. I thought the other uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> Even the ghetto one was there, that is uh, Bobby Wine. There was uh, Mao. I actually remember the, as the goalkeeper, as you as you will see. Yes, I'm going to see. Um, there was even uh, the religious leaders, Mubaje was there. Kazi, Kazi, Kadaga, Kadaga was there. Um, yes, as in for, for women, because you know gender balance. Even the citizen was there. And if you see that, it's the citizen who scored. So the message was, citizen, the, yes, <laughs> the message, the message was, whatever country that we want to to, to create or we wish to have, it is a collective responsibility if you want to score that goal. So that is the collective responsibility. Yes, then we have that of the referee. You know, the referee now, okay, when it comes to, 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 to no, 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 to, to elections, then the, the arbitrator would be the electoral commission. But now we go to the, the, to the normal courts. No, look at the normal, court, normal courts. Still, too, you need to have an arbitrator. But what are the characteristics of a, a good arbitrator? He must be neutral. Mm. So now when you see that uh, um, animation, animation mm. the referee, you saw that he gave a penalty this side and they gave the penalty the other side in the same circumstances. The message was, whatever that we have, if you want to create the peaceful country that we want, people in the arbitration uh, positions must be fair. Yeah. So we saw that one of, uh, as in the citizens, mm? but I like that. We are saying that every citizen should play an active role. You should make a conscious decision to be part of the process. Then we have that of uh, the linesmen, you remember? Mm -hmm. So one, the side of the linesmen, of course linesmen help the, the arbitrator. And in and this uh, instance it is the police and the army. We are saying also they are supposed to be neutral in helping the people in the arbitration positions. So like, 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 like my colleague said, we are using football not only to address political uh, as in matters, because we were, we were inspired by that in the first place, but we are going to address poverty, inequality. Actually, we have... Uh, and fitness. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and actually, we, we are... We are <laughs> the pay is low. <laughs> actually, we have just uh, finished uh, as in scripting the, that, uh, that of uh, women inclusion. It is a very interesting script. We have finished that uh, script of women inclusion, where we believe that women should be part. And uh, you, you will see that animation, where you know the, the greatest uh, and special player, who was a woman, who, a woman, who came and changed the whole game. So we are trying to use creatively use football to bring this nation together. And it's the only thing that is left to unite all Ugandans. Maybe the last one I can say about why football for peace it is the most popular and it unites all people of, from different walks of life. The, the elderly, uh -huh. the, the drunkard. I'm uh, very sorry, sir. Uh, you know, you know, you know, that's where you see a young child eh, that's in sitting together on the same table with the father. Eh? Now you see, yes, that's where you see a Muslim sitting on the same table with a with Christian. Eh? So, so I think we have. <laughs> okay, let me tell you. So that's how we, we we look at this game of football. Okay, we think so it's very powerful. Thank you so much. For yes. That, uh, breakdown. But again, hmm. you must have come across a few uh, challenges here and there. What could those be? Of course, there are very many. Uh -huh. I mean, I think everybody would mention one. But let me yeah. first mention yeah, on one table, for for myself. Mm -hmm. You know. We had uh, got some people who were so much interested in, uh, in, uh, in uh, putting this animation series uh, somewhere. But uh, 
somehow because of uh, what happened no what happened during no what happened during the elections that some were being targeted some of the the ngos who would be partners so they first said okay let us first go past the elections then afterwards we shall come on board so so that was one of uh, the challenges that were that we faced that was unfortunate yes so uh, i'd say the media blockage you all remember there was a time for around there Actually, if I'm not mistaken, even up to now, even up to now, Facebook is still blocked. You need a VPN to access it. So we needed to use something. Yes. Uh, yes. So the media, I didn't say I'm on Facebook. <laughs> uh, due to the media blockage, uh, I, I decided to use these series and extend these messages everywhere on all platforms in a simple way. So, so in a graphic way. And actually, there are so many people on, on, uh, on uh, Facebook yeah. that were denied the chance to see to, uh, these admission oh, series. Yes. yes. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Oh, do you have something you want to say? Yeah, of course, we know with COVID, there are restrictions. I play another sport, hockey, but sports were restricted. You couldn't play because you, of the... Yeah. And, and, and we wanted to play a yeah. musical game. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're playing chess, which is non-contact, <laughs> but because of <laughs> yeah, even uh, Novak Djokovic was recently bad from playing Australian often for the same re reason. So, for football being uh, eleven aside plus substitutions. It was really blocked. So, we could, yeah. And we had planned to invite all these people in the animation to actually play in this game. Yes, I'll hand over to someone else. Okay. Uh, okay. Maybe. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, maybe what I can say is uh, not everyone is financially okay. I would say the major, major obstacle is the finance yes. problem. So sometimes we're not begging, <laughs> but one of the limitations is fat. So I call upon all partners that can partner with us, Innovation Consortium, you're all welcome. And see that Football for Peace animation series goes to the sky. Actually, to expound on that, you know, I think the best platform where these, as in Football for Peace animation series, where they can thrive, it is the mainstream media. And you know the mainstream media is a very expensive media to carry on these uh, these uh, no, animation no. series. So would call upon all those mainstream media TVs like NBS, NTV, and everything to come on board, so that UBC, people UBC who, uh, UBC. <laughs> <laughs> so that we can relay this uh, information and also you know how do you call it a uh, civic education, <laughs> yes, to the to the public, yes. Oh, okay. He's always crying of data. I have prophet tweet what I'm going to say. <laughs> so my complaint is rich here also. Mm. I think, you know, uh, this is uh, the cheapest media we try to transfer my message to most of us because of maybe financial issues. It's more social media. And most of these videos, we have uploaded them on different platforms, social media platforms, and the answer has been more on data. That way, guys, see the video saying it is 500 MB. He says, Ah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You see, the man has data, but we can't use it a telegraph anymore. <laughs> and also, the post office has a bad record, so we couldn't put the animation series in the post office. So, hence, we are using online platforms. Yeah. Oh, okay. Otherwise, from all of us here, Am I signing out of a way? But anyway, you have so the microphone. I, I, I thought so you were finalizing our... about the data thing. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, uh, okay, okay, let's run it like this. Now that you're holding the microphone, ah. mm -hmm. Pat shouldn't give the way forward and we break it down. Okay. I've always wanted yeah, to do this! this. You know, I was suggesting uh, as he should be the captain for today and, and uh, Pat shot for all of us. Oh, okay, please. Yeah. Give, yeah. It, give it to the viewers. <laughs> Dear viewers, let me do it better than him. Stop. Dear viewers. <laughs> <laughs> dear viewers, thank you for your continuing support. And we pray you tell a friend, tell a dear one, tell someone who's inquisitive. Even your enemies. Even your enemies. Good boy, nice everybody. Yes. yes. Subscribe, contact us, reach out. This is a call for help and it's, it's also a message to everyone out there who wants to do good and push something better. 
uh, we may be innovators, and as innovators, innovation has no sex, has no gender, really? has no political party. Sure. So, I thought it was a female. Just like football. <laughs> so, party shot. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, endeavor to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our website at InnoVG or go to the YouTube uh, YouTube channel at Innovation Consortium. Please subscribe. Endeavor to click on that trip red button. Uh, like, share, comment, tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to the Innovation Consortium YouTube channel because we always bring to you only the best and nothing but the best. Ladies and gentlemen, we are the Solutions House. And remember, we are Innovation Consortium. I sign out. <laughs>